We imagine that if we sent our songs into space, our favorite old teacher Yang would, from heaven, be able to hear his favorite children singing. Very few people get to experience such an honor. The Chinese rocket Long March 6 was launched into space on the 27th of April. On board was a satellite containing the song Double Echoes by Honing and Yang, preserving the piece by the Beijing Philharmonic Choir in orbit for posterity. Honing and Yang founded this choir almost 40 years ago. One thing was always important to him. A choir, a country, its people, it's like everything. If you want your choir culture to progress, then be like a sponge and absorb the best of what is around you. It will make you richer. This curiosity drove him until the end. He was always wondering what else his beloved music had in store for him and never stopped learning, questioning and understanding. Sharing experiences with others was the air Honing and Yang breathed. He was very hard working. I remember him often working up to 16 hours a day. There were always so many new musical manuscripts in his study from all kinds of different countries and books too. He learned yeah, so much. So feel, so. He said, you should uh, never stop uh, learning. And how wonderful that the Beijing Philharmonic Choir that meant so much to Honing and Yang is now conducted by his son, Li Yang. Cooperation between father and son was always an important element of the respected professor's musical work. Music was always a natural part of life for the children of the young household. Our parents tried to give us good things. For example, my sister wanted to learn to play the harp, but we didn't have one at the time. So my father built her one. It was probably in his nature to give everything for children and not just for his own. No, wherever he could, Honing and Yang supported the little Chinese children who, after all, represented the future of his country's choir music. He developed a special educational theory for gently introducing children to difficult musical exercises, using songs from all over the world to teach them about the universality of music. Yang Hongnian Jiaoshou, not only gave us the Chinese heritage, but also gave us the heritage of the world heritage. As the well-known saying in China goes, all rivers flow into the sea. That sums up the nature of Professor Yang's educational style. His system is not just based on Chinese folk music, but incorporates and uses other choir music and choir cultures that he discovered on his many journeys that took him to Europe, America, Africa, and of course, through Asia. His own system of musical early education made Honing and Yang the leading music teacher and choir master in the whole of China. He loved giving international audiences a little insight into his educational method. and showing how it helps Chinese choirs to succeed, especially the Beijing Philharmonic Choir that he founded. 
In a high-profile workshop during the 2014 World Choir Games in Riga, an interested audience saw for themselves how Chinese choral work has developed in recent decades. The repertoire of Chinese choirs used to be rather narrow, and that only changed when they came into contact with other cultures. It was a forward boost and enormously supported the Chinese cause. An example. I organized a masterclass in China with Romans Fanags, one of the artistic directors of Interkultur, who also conducted the large final chorus in measure parks. It was a very important exchange, not just for the participants, but for me too. <laughs> Latvian musician Romans Vanags is not only the artistic director of Interkultur, but also professor of choir conducting in Riga. Vanag still precisely recalls the impressive encounter with his Chinese colleague Honningen Young because he was interested in Baltic music early on and enjoyed lively discussions with Romans before meeting him at a seminar in China. This was a fantastic seminar also for me because I can share my knowledge. Of course it was in Chinese and I, nobody can uh, explain it those, those times. But, you know, I understood many, many uh, sentences what he told and, you know, this, uh, this uh, attention from the Chinese conductors to his speech, because he was speaking very slow and not loud, step by step, but like a drop, all this information to the, the student's mind how he need to explain this or this. Fantastic example to follow his uh, pedagogical way, how he is playing the, the, the musical uh, sentence. China, a big country, is catching up. And you could actually see at major international choir competitions in recent years, such as the World Choir Games, that the quality of Chinese choirs is constantly improving which is another achievement of the great educator and choir master Honningen Yang. Like him, you just need to have the staying power. The result is plain to see. Chinese choirs are winning more and more medals and prizes. And when the rope suddenly breaks while ringing the peace bell with Interkultur President Gunter Titsch, everyone takes it with a sense of humor. This is another essential aspect of Honning and Yang's character looking on the bright side of life. A smile is a powerful weapon. Professor Yang struck me not just because of his specialist skills, but also because of his behavior, his human behavior. His personal charisma that lit up the room whenever he walked into it. Young people became calm when he met them. They looked at him. He had a charismatic personality after all, and when he spoke, they listened. Two thousand four World Choir Games in Bremen. This was the beginning of the cooperation between Professor Honning and Yang and Interkultur, which would continue until the Chinese musician's death in 2020. Together with his father, Li Yang has worked for the Beijing Philharmonic Choir since 1998. Early on, the old professor had told his son that there would be new choir competitions in Europe. In 2004, they went to see the town musicians, all the way to Europe, to the World Choir Games in Bremen.
The impressions were overwhelming, as Li Yang still clearly remembers today. It was so big. There were so many countries, so many choirs, and so many good choirs. And so many new works, pieces that had never been heard before. What can you say? It's opened our eyes, but not just our eyes, the eyes of the whole of China. It's an incredible idea. From then on, it was impossible to imagine the World Choir Games without Honning and Yang, who later became honorary artistic president of Interkultur. He was always in the front row. We have some conversation regarding this World Choir Games situation, and also we taught, touch many times this influence, how necessary is be so many uh, different nations together. And Interkutu is the right way to bring the people together. This is the logo, logo brand, <laughs> singing together, brings nations together. And absolutely, Professor Young followed this. Now start with humming uo and ah. Get ready, sing. No, no, do, re, this is a major second. Re, a little higher. Attention. Humming, but softer. It's impossible to do justice to the richness of a life like that. Which of the many prizes that Honning and Yang won for his musical work should we list? Which of the many orchestras, which of the choirs that he conducted stand out? Which of his many journeys was the most important? Nineteen eighty four. During Ronald Reagan's trip to China, Honning and Yang received an invitation to a tour of America. This was an exceptional occurrence at the time, and it marked the beginning of the international travel that took the great choir master through many countries of the world. His philosophy, his view, his conviction that young people in particular should go out into the world to meet other people and broaden their horizons was his key to bringing people together. And bringing together young people with the help of choral music also helps to bring peace to the world. Honning and Yang and Interkultur agreed on the importance of furthering global peace by singing together, especially in today's times. That's what they were striving for together. Before his death, he wrote this message of greeting to the many choir singers all over the world. Music is the art that touches our soul the most, especially singing. Singing is the most direct way of expressing human emotions and it is incredibly infectious. He was the light for the many people who experienced the beauty of music through Honning and Yang. <laughs> 